Mmm, chickity chick, chick, chick. All right, well, I'm going on a boy's weekend adventure. Weekend adventure, weekend adventure, weekend adventure. Ah, that took the wind out of me. So I figured I'd show you guys what I take with me on my little weekend trips when I go hang out with the boys. So my tech bags usually consist of, well, unless I'm going on like a, like a work-related trip, um, they usually consist of the main bases, right? So we've got entertainment, whether that be, you know, video and music, that kind of stuff, uh, as well as something to capture, something to record my adventure, my trip with. So we're gonna go over all of that stuff, but first we should probably talk about the bag I'm jamming all that crap into. The bag I'm gonna be using is the Moshi Arcus, and it's actually a pretty Pretty sweet bag. The material being used is some sort of super durable, really heavy duty feeling nylon material. Uh, the very top flap here is actually protected with a hard shell, which is pretty sweet. You got uh, pads and pockets everywhere, lots of organizational pockets as you see as we rip through the bag. Uh, turning it around the back, we've actually also got a couple of hidey spots so you can uh, hide all your unmentionables and paraphernalia and whatnot in the back here. On one side, we've got a water bottle slash water bottle. Damn it, as I was saying. On the right side, we've got a pocket for a water bottle or a tripod because this actually doubles as a camera bag. I need to refill this before I leave. And then on the side here, we've got another little pocket a little side pocket you can throw in your you know micro SD cards that kind of crap but if we unzip this one this actually opens up as sort of like a, a, a side access pocket uh, the entire cavity of this bag is just one gigantic endless pit it's it's pretty sweet okay so let's get into the contents of the bag I'm not really sure where to start so I think I'm gonna start in the back here which is where do 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 Ooh, that was a failed attempt at being super dramatic which reveals do 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 so we've got the MacBook Pro in there uh, we've got some additional pockets on the inside there I'm not sure if you can see uh, all kinds of organizational pockets pretty badass but in one of them I've got some ND filters, we'll get to that in just a moment. And in the other pocket, we've got some more ND filters, which I'll get to in just a moment. I generally don't need or have never needed more than 20,000 milliamp hours in a battery pack. Um, I have this RAV power one. I've been through several 20,000 milliamp hour battery packs sent to me by brands over the years, and all of them, one by one, have crapped out on me except for the RAV Power one. Okay, so we're done with the back, so I guess we'll start with the top of the bag, which is this cool hard shell compartment here. You can see it's, it's actually got quite a bit of room in there. Um, at this point in time, the only thing I'm actually holding in it is the uh, Galaxy Note 9, which I'll be using to record some sweet cinematic footage, 4K, 60 FPS, be able to slow it down a little bit in post to get that cinematic look, so uh, uh, great phone for recording um, and having full manual control in, in 4K, awesome stuff. All right, so we'll open up the main compartment now and I'll actually show you guys, right underneath that hard shell compartment is another mesh compartment. Throughout all the different compartments of this bag, the um, Velcro actually spans the majority of like sort of the seam or the lip there, that way you don't have to worry too much about crap slipping out, that drives me fucking nuts when that happens. So anyways, <laughs> In here, I've got this little clip. This is from Sandmark, and um, this is actually gonna go over top of the Galaxy Note 9, and you'll notice that the if you position it just right, the hole or the circle that you're gonna be um, clipping some of these uh, ND filters to um, covers both cameras, which is pretty sweet. But anyways, these are from Sandmark as well. I've got a whole, all of these are from Sandmark. These are, the Sandmark makes really, really high quality ND filters for mobile phones as well as drones, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. In addition to that stuff, I've got a uh, SIM card tool so I can pop out the Kingston 64 gigabyte super fancy micro SD cards that I've been sent by them uh, a little while ago, actually. And then to offload all the footage from those micro SD cards, Kingston also sent me this sweet little, I don't know, doohickey adapter type job. So uh, it actually acts as a micro SD card reader. So the uh, micro SD card slides in at the top there. And then you've got USB 3.0 on one side and USB-C on the other. Anyways, I absolutely love this guy. I've used it hundreds of times. It's pretty badass. I'll put a link in the description down below as well as like everything else that I'm gonna be showing you in this video. And then for audio, I'm actually bringing two different items with me. The first of which is one of my favorite or it is my favorite pair of wired headphones I've ever owned or reviewed. The Sennheiser 598CS closed back headphones. These are absolutely phenomenal. They sound fantastic. Uh, they do a great job of keeping external sound isolated. Um, they're super comfortable, hands down, the most comfortable headphones I've ever used. Um, wait until around Christmas time and you can pick these up for about a hundred bucks on Amazon. So of course, link in the description down below for those. And then 
For Bluetooth speakers, I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it again, JBL Flip 4. This is an absolutely fantastic product. Rock solid, amazing sound for the uh, for the size of it. So a fantastic Bluetooth speaker, JBL Flip 4. I will be bringing my, uh, I've got it all packaged up. Give me a second. Damn it. Come on, come on now. Get over here, you piece of shit. Of course, I'm bringing my fancy DJI Mavic Pro Platinum Edition, but at 24 frames per second, seeing as you can't adjust the aperture, ND filters are an absolute must. So I'm gonna be recording 4K, 24 FPS, with some sweet ND filters on. It should look pretty sweet. All of that with the Galaxy Note 9 and its ND filter being used in conjunction with the DJI that's going down, the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Badass gimbal, it's like 100 to 130 bucks in the US. Works really, really well. Um, oh, and last but certainly, certainly not least, every tech bag needs a selfie stick. <laughs> so yes, as much as I hate selfie sticks and as shameless as I am, I will be using this. It's a lot easier to use to take pictures of like you and your buddies. Um, and with this particular one, which I have featured on the channel in the past, and it actually acts as, you goddamn piece of shit. And it actually acts as a bit of a tripod. So you can put your phone in there and um, it, it, it stands it up like, like a tripod supposed to. But the really cool thing about this is that it's got this little slide out remote Bluetooth button. So you pair this with your phone, kind of like how the S Pen works with the Note 9, but you pair this with your phone, you can kind of like slip that in your pocket. You can start recording, stop recording, take pictures. As much as I hate selfie sticks, if I was to use one, this, this obviously is the one that I'm using. Looks kind of funny though, doesn't it? Ooh, 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 ooh. Right, well, I think that covers everything. Um... Um, if you have any questions about any of this shit, uh, drop me a comment down below and say what's up. I'll be hanging out in the comments as usual. Link to everything in the video will be in the description below to Amazon so that I can get paid. But I think that about does it for this one. Thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to y'all next one. Cheers. I can't reach. I'd